Today we create Facebook conversion ads the updated way because as you know, Facebook loves to change things up on us. So today we're gonna go through and create a full Facebook conversion ads from beginning to end, zero steps skipped. And if you've never run Facebook conversion ads before, that's completely okay. Just know that Facebook conversion ads are the best way to grow your business on your website. So yes, I'm kind of leading the witness here by sharing that you do need a website in order to launch a conversion ad. It can be a traditional website, such as a WordPress website, or it can be a landing page that you create from a landing page generator out there. But just rest assured that regardless of the website that you have, you absolutely want to launch Facebook conversion ads because they grow your business exponentially. Hey, a time mate, if we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. All right, so first let's look at what Facebook tells us that a Facebook conversion ad even is. The Facebook website conversion objective helps you grow business on your website. Whether you want page visits, sales, or another action, website conversion ads encourage people to go to your website and do something. So in other words, Facebook conversion ads are designed to scale your conversions, are designed to get you more sales if that's what you're doing, or are designed to get you more leads if you're in the service business and that's how you operate, with leads. Now here's the thing, Facebook conversion ads or Facebook conversion campaigns are the most complex Facebook campaigns that you can launch. So I need you to hang in there with me. We've broken it down into four steps that you need to follow. Again, it's just four steps and they're really simple to implement, but I don't need you skipping ahead. And also I don't need you getting flustered and frustrated and clicking off. Just hang in there with me. I promise I will get you from beginning to end. Now the four steps that we need to get through today is first, we need to create our Facebook pixel. Second, we need to install our Facebook pixel. Third, we need to create a conversion. And then fourth, we need to actually launch the conversion campaign. Now, as we make our way over to the screen share, I wanna invite you to make one quick pit stop. And that is going down to the bottom of this video and smashing like. All right, so let's begin. The first thing we need to address is creating our Facebook pixel. So in order to get to where we need to get to, we're gonna hit the plus over here. We're gonna go to add, and then it's gonna open up over here. So to our ads manager, the next step you wanna take is to go to these nine dots, go to the events manager, and what you're gonna see is that there's already a pixel here. So that is completely okay. If you already have your pixel, you're going to um, you're gonna go basically to step two. So I'm gonna show you where step two actually is in, um, in a couple of seconds. But first, if you're gonna create your Facebook pixel for the first time, so you don't see anything on the screen right now, you're gonna go over here to connect data sources and then I'm not allowed to create another one right now and I'm not going to, but in order for you to create the pixel, all you have to do is click on web right there, right here, and then say, get started. As soon as you click get started, you're gonna go over here. This is where the very next screen that you're going to see. So it's from here that you install your Facebook pixel. So in one fell swoop, you took care of creating that Facebook pixel. It really is that simple. So really the the, the pixel, right as soon as you press get started, you're gonna be asked to name it. And then here you're gonna see the um, your option to install your Facebook pixel yourself or do a partner integration. And a partner integration means connect it directly to WordPress, to Squarespace, to Shopify, to any websites that are out there that are major enough or big enough to partner directly with Facebook. So it's even easier. So I'm showing you the manual way to install your Facebook pixel. This is as difficult as it gets. So as a reminder, if you see nothing on the screen, then there's gonna be a green button or a big blue button that says, no, it might be green. There's a, a big button in the middle that says, hey, create your Facebook pixel, or you can just go over here to connect data sources. Now, something that you might have just noticed is if you've created your Facebook pixel already and you just need to get back to it, something that you saw me do that may have tripped you up a little bit because it did for me for the longest time, Facebook has hidden where your pixel actually is. In the past, it was very easy. In the past, all I had to do was go over here and hit pixel. It was one of your shortcuts. 
that's no longer the case. Now you have to dig. The only place that you can get back to your Facebook pixel as of this recording is what you just saw. Going to add events and going from a new website. It's the only place. So um, if, if you've been looking for the longest time, hey, I don't know where the Facebook pixel is, that's where it was. It took me hours to figure that out, so I just wanted to make sure that you were aware. Anyway, at this point, what we need to do is we need to install our Facebook pixel. Remember, create Facebook pixel, install Facebook pixel, create conversion, and then launch the campaign. So what we need to do now is we need to install our code manually, since we're not gonna go through a partner. We're gonna copy the code, so I just clicked on that green, button and now we need to go over and install this code wherever we have our website whether it's a wordpress website squarespace website wix website shopify website any website that you can think of or if you have a landing page generator like lead funnels lead pops uh click funnels uh what is it builder all any type of landing page generator that you're using you just install your code it's really that simple so for our example today, I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna go to ClickFunnels. So this is a funnel. This is a buyer opt-in funnel. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna go to the settings. And here's an old pixel. So let me just take care of that. Go to the head tracking code and I'm gonna paste this. So wherever your website is, wherever your landing page generator is, you're gonna look for the head tracking code and you're going to install your Facebook pixel. Now, sometimes, they're just gonna ask for the ID. They're just gonna ask, hey, Facebook Pixel ID here, and they're just gonna give you a little spot. What they're asking for is this right here. They're asking just for that code. So just, to, it, it's it's asking the same thing, but in a different way. So just be aware of that. So if it's only asking for a little, little code, that's where it's at. All right, so now we're gonna go down, save and exit. All right, so what we just did is we just installed our Facebook pixel to the entire to the entire funnel. Did I press it? All right, there we go. All right, so this entire funnel has the Facebook pixel. This means that it has it on the landing page and it has it on the thank you page. So we have just installed our Facebook pixel. It's really that simple. I know that you're, whoa, we already have the first two done. Yeah, we do. <laughs> All right, so what we need to do now is we need to go to that third step, which is creating our conversion. Now, before we head over and create our conversion, I wanna tell you what we're actually doing. The conversion is something that we're telling Facebook that is meaningful to us. It goes back to the definition that we read at the beginning. We're telling Facebook, Facebook, a sale is meaningful for me. A lead is meaningful for me. Whatever, oops, whatever happens to be meaningful for you, that's what you're creating a conversion for. So in this case, since this is for real estate, we're after leads. Now, this is a simple one, two step. This is a simple one, two funnel. We have our landing page here. So this is a landing page, which we're offering a list of homes for under a certain price. So our campaign, our conversion ad is going to drive traffic here to this landing page right here. We're gonna drive a ton of people here but that's not the conversion that's just driving traffic what's a conversion for us is once somebody give us gives us their name their email and their phone number that's a conversion so once somebody does that on our website so you see it right here once somebody gives us their information and presses send they're going to be directed to the thank you page so the only reason that somebody is going to see this thank you page right here is once they give us their contact information. So this means that this was a conversion for us. So if we go over here, we actually care about this conversion right here. And this is a URL that we're gonna be using. So is everybody with me? I think everybody is, but just wanna make sure. We have the traffic that we're gonna drive here. And then as soon as somebody gets us their contact information, that's a conversion. So we only care about the people here. With that in mind, now let's go and create our conversion the wrong tab we're over here we can get rid of this you can go through and create a event if you want so you see right here enable uh, I'm sorry add an event code event code is basically a page view a lead um, you can do that as well if you so choose but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a conversion 
and we're gonna go right back here. So keep in mind where we came from. We were at the ads manager because we, we clicked over here and then we went to the events manager, which is what you're seeing on the screen right now. What we're gonna do now is go to the custom conversions and then you're gonna see use custom conversions to measure the outcome that matter to your business, what we were talking about, and optimize your ad for URL traffic and custom events. It's exactly what we just said. What's meaningful to our business and then we're gonna optimize it. So Facebook's gonna go out there and find some additional customers that we wanna work with. So we're gonna create a custom conversion and we're gonna name the conversion. So we're gonna say buyer opt-in, click funnels, vid. All right, so buyer opt-in, click funnels, YouTube vid. All right, the data source is the pixel that we were just looking at. Custom event, you're gonna see that we only have all URL traffic, which is fine, but here's the rules. This is what actually creates the conversion. This custom conversion must meet all of the following rules. Remember that URL that we were talking about right over here, this URL, the thank you. So the only reason that somebody would have, would see this page is because they gave us their contact information, AKA became a conversion. So we're gonna come back here and we're gonna use that conversion all day long. And you can also enter a value. If you're selling products, it's a lot easier for you to place a value knowing that as soon as somebody uh, converts, it's gonna be 50 bucks, a thousand bucks, whatever it happens to be. It's a little bit harder if you're in the service business, unless you know how much revenue you're, you generate per lead. It's basically an average for you. So for our purposes today, I'm actually not gonna worry about the conversion value. Let's create. All right, so we're done. We've created it. Now, we have completed step three. However, in order to use this before we go to step four and actually launch our campaign, we need this status to go to active. We're not able to launch the campaign until this becomes active. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna open up an incognito window and I'm gonna press enter. So I'm going to manually let this fire. And I'm gonna open up another one here. So it's gonna take a couple of, uh, it's gonna take a couple of seconds for this to take hold. So I just opened it. So hopefully the status goes to active. Boom, there it is. So we're active, we're good to go. We just went through three steps and that was super fast, right? Now we're gonna go back and go to the ads manager. From here, folks, it's downhill. It's super simple at this point. You've gone through the gauntlet. You're, um, you're ready to go. If you can get this right, which of course you will, you just saw everything. If you can get this right, you can rest assured that you've done the most complex campaign on Facebook. So congratulations, you are money, literally. Well, actually not literally, I, you know what I mean. All right, so here's what we're doing. Create a campaign objective. Conversions, it's one of the 11, so we're gonna click conversions. We're gonna click continue. And we're gonna go through, not gonna worry about naming or anything like that. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like from the creation of the ad. So you're gonna toggle this on since this is a real estate ad. We're gonna click housing. Ad sets not compliant. Some of the campaigns, that's fine. It doesn't matter because um, we haven't even gotten to the ad sets yet. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go move me real quick. All right, so we're not gonna worry about the rest. We're gonna go to next. And then the most important part is right here. This is the conversion event. We just created this. Now, since this is the only conversion event that we have, it automatically pulls it in. So we're good to go. Now, if you have multiple conversions, then it's going to have a little drop down over here asking you, hey, which conversion do you wanna use? You just select it. So you're gonna make sure that you leave it on website. You're gonna select the conversion event. Don't worry about dynamic creative or offer. Select your budget, however you want to, however much you want to spend. If you have a large enough audience in the uh, custom audience or in the special ad audience, then you would select it right here. But for our purposes, we're just gonna go with cold traffic and we're gonna select people living in this location. And we're just gonna say that this is a Dallas ad so we're hitting up Dallas right there. We're gonna, since this is a spe an ad in the special ad category, we can't select based off of age. We can't select or filter based off of gender. Um, we can't do any demographics or behaviors. We can do interest. So in our case, what we would say is those people that are interested in Zillow, we can select those. 
So we're gonna select uh, Zillow as soon as it comes up, right there. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna manually select our placements. So we're gonna drop this, drop this, drop this, and we're only gonna leave the Facebook newsfeed. I'm gonna knock these out right here. Boom. We're, we're making record, uh, we're breaking records today. We're gonna go to next. And again, you're gonna worry about the naming. As long as you remember what the name is, you're gonna be good to go. And then when it comes to the media, so you're gonna select either an ad, I'm sorry, an image or a video. So we're just gonna select that one. That looks nice. Done. Now you can select multiple. We're just going through the actual uh, campaign just so you see it. There's plenty of other videos that show you in depth the strategy, the ad copies, and you're going to find them. I'll actually link them down below. Right now, I just want you to see what it looks like when you create it. And then you're gonna say, this is an ad. Well, you're obviously gonna work on the ad copy. If you're interested in the ad copy, that's actually generating buyer leads and seller leads. I'll link them down below and I'll also remember to put them up here as well. You're gonna put a, a headline. This is a headline. And this is a description. I just wanna get to the last part. Oops, just wanna get to the last part so you see what it looks like. So as you can see, the ad was over here and it gives you a preview. What's important here, and I don't want you to miss it, I really don't want you to miss it, it's asking for a URL. So it goes back to what we were talking about. This is our landing page. We're driving a ton of traffic here. This is a URL that they're asking for. This is a URL that you're going to take. So you're gonna take this URL right here. You're gonna go back to your ad and you're gonna paste it right here. That's the URL that you need to that you need to use. This is a conversion that you are maximizing for. So you just saw how to create your Facebook pixel. You saw how to install your Facebook pixel. And then you also saw how to create a custom conversion or a conversion. And then fourth, you just saw how to launch the conversion campaign. Now all you have to do is go over here and hit publish and you're getting a lot of leads. Well, now that you've mastered Facebook conversion ads and know how to launch them like a pro, you might be interested in an ad copy that's gonna generate you a ton of leads. So I'll leave a video right here that's gonna help you do that. Also, if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And of course, make it your best day yet.